Texas Fertilizer Company didn't heed disclosure rules before blast New York, Reuters. The fertilizer plant that exploded on Wednesday, obliterating part of a small Texas town and killing at least 14 people, had last year been storing 1,350 times the amount of ammonium nitrate that would normally trigger safety oversight by the, the United States Department of Homeland Security, DHS. Yet a person familiar with DHS operations said the company that owns the plant, West Fertilizer, did not tell the agency about the potentially explosive fertilizer as it is required to do, leaving one of the principal regulators of ammonium nitrate, which can also be used in bomb making, unaware of any danger there. Fertilizer plants and depots must report to the DHS when they hold 400 pound, 180 kilograms, or more of the substance. Filings this year with the Texas Department of State Health Services, which weren't shared with DHS, show the plant at 270 tons of it on hand last year. A United States congressman and several safety experts called into question on Friday whether incomplete disclosure or regulatory gridlock may have contributed to the disaster. It seems this manufacturer was willfully off the grid, Republican Benny Thompson, DMS, ranking member of the House Committee on Homeland Security, said in a statement. This facility was known to have chemicals well above the threshold amount to be regulated under the Chemical Facility Anti-Terrorism Standards Act, FATS, yet we understand that DHS did not even know the plant existed until it blew up. Company officials did not return repeated calls seeking comment on its handling of chemicals and reporting practices. Late on Friday, plant owner Donald Adair released a general statement expressing sorrow over the incident but saying West Fertilizer would have little further comment while it cooperated with investigators to try to determine what happened.